Let's before we talk about your hope tennis thing, let's talk about the bodybuilding uh, career issue that mm -hmm. you were talking about off camera. What's mm -hmm. the latest with you? Yeah, so uh, bodybuilding was something that I picked up, you know, when I was in the States. You know, my mother-in-law uh, used to compete. She's an IFBB pro, you know, professional. So, I mean, I love to go to the gym, you know, and stuff like that. So, normally she comes to me and be like, you know, you have the genetic to, I mean, to step on stage, you know, and stuff like that. So, my first show was in like 2001. You know, I step on stage and I swept everything up. And it was oh, like, okay, I told nice. you, you can do that. But the goal, the goal was to get an IFBB pro card which is like, that's where you see the likes of, you know, Rani Koma, William Bonak, you know, all the top, top, like Arnold Schwarzenegger and all those top, top dogs. You know, that's where, that's, that's the goal for every bodybuilder, you know, to get to that position. It's like, it's like you are playing uh, first division yeah. and your goal is to go into the Premier League. Okay. You know, so uh, that's where, you know, so uh, just past 21st, you know, June, I did my show in uh, Tennessee, Chattanooga. You know, for the national. That's fresh, eh? Yes, yes. So just recently, so my, I did my show for the uh, for the uh, national junior nationals, and that's the pro card show. So I end up in my category. I was having 14, 14 participants. You know, in men's physique class D. You know, and I end up you know winning the class and getting my pro card. You know, so right now I'm a I'm a professional bodybuilder. You know, I have BB Pro where now I can go and compete, you know, in the, in the mix of, you know, William Bonak and all those people. Now my goal is any show I'm going now, I'm going to that show to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, so that's where I am now between the Mr. Olympia and yeah, that's where I'm playing my ball now. It's good news. I'm sure you, you, you'll be tackling two forts now. <laughs> exactly. Not, not only tennis. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm still playing tennis. I mean, tennis is my full-time so job. That I'm doing this. Exactly. So now I have two professions. Yeah. So I have tennis and then, bo and then uh, bodybuilding. That will not be distracted a little bit? No. So right now, because bodybuilding, I mean, now I'm not playing competitive tennis, you know, yeah. right? I'm just doing coaching okay. and bodybuilding was like a hobby, you know, where I like to go to the gym, you know, and work out, you know, and all those kind of things, you know. So bodybuilding is more like a hobby to me, but tennis is my full-time job Okay, we've been told to go to the tennis. You're seeing the pictures over there, some of the old stuff you've done. So let's station now. Earlier, we saw you in the bodybuilding stuff. Now it's tennis now. Yeah. Quickly, yeah. What is new about your tennis clinic and the tournament that we'll be staging each time I want to in town? Tell us about it. So, so as you know, I mean, Hope Performance Tennis, you know, has been, you know, in existence since 2018. Yeah. And we have been a whole transformation into the, you know, tennis fraternity in Ghana. When it comes to the GTF, you know, we've been a, a lot of uh, transformation. I mean, recently we did a junior national ranking, which has bring more, you know, light to the Ghana Tennis Federation as well. Right now, when the, when the Federation is getting ready to, I mean, select national players. They don't have to go through, you know, justify an inclusion anymore. They just go through the Hope National Ranking to pick up the players straight, you know, to uh, represent the country. So that's something that, I mean, the organization has put in place, you know, to support the country, you know, itself. And like, you know, we do, every, we do this every year. We've been to different regions. We've been to a lot of, like, we have like eight regions that we go to. But this year, the most exciting thing about this year is that, you know, uh, this is the first time we're going to the Ashanti region. Yeah. you know, to host our uh, Hope Clinic over there. So I'm excited, you know, to go to Ashanti region, you know, and that's going to be uh, this Friday, coming Friday. We're going to be at the uh, KNUST uh, Senior Citizen uh, uh, Stadium uh, Tennis Club, you know, to host our program over there, which we have about 250 to 300 kids, you know, showing up there as well, you know, for, 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 the, for the sports. And then also... Uh, uh, July, July uh, 13 and 14, we're going to be at the Craspo Stadium, which that's where we started our first... You've seen the pictures over there, yeah. yeah. Yes, that's where we started our first program at the Craspo Stadium. And in five years, we're coming back to the Craspo Stadium because all these all this years, we've been going to different regions. We've been going to the northern region, you know, central region, Bono region, you know, Volta region and all those places just to bring hope and to give, you know, support to the kids that are playing tennis in those areas because you know how expensive tennis equipments yeah. are and our, 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 our youngsters that are coming up, you know, not getting the support to be able to provide for themselves in terms of tennis racket, strings and all those kind of things. So as an organization, that's what we do to support these kids, you know. Coming back to Accra after five years is something that, I mean, I'm so amazed, you know, about it that I'm finally I'm coming back to Accra, you know, to host, you know, our program again in Accra. So I'm very, very excited. How different is this time? Is it going to be very, very how different is it going to be? Because so, you bring in rackets, I see mm -hmm. most of them mm -hmm. this time around. The only time here now you're going to Kumasi, which is mm -hmm. big. Yep. How different is this year's clinic and tournament you're going to host? So this year's clinic and tournament is going to be way different. The, the difference that is going to be as right now, 
we have we have you know other kids you know like Kumasi for instance this is going to be our first time over there yeah. and that's a huge you know difference for the organization as well and then in Accra like I said it's been five years you know since we come into Accra so our goal is to make sure we're going in the extra miles to make sure we're getting kids you know to introduce kids to the sports for the first time you know go to the schools and try to bring the kids out you know to give them that opportunity to showcase their talent and the most exciting thing about it also I mean most of my donors you know some of my donors in Atlanta Georgia are joining me this year okay. you know in Ghana you know to see what we do as an organization you know in Ghana how we are impacting the life of these young children you know in Ghana how the organization is doing itself you know in terms of you know bringing hope and support to this Ghana and uh, this sports and also to volunteer you know in the in the in the in the program to to see how we how we go through you know with these kids you know as well so this year is is, is a special one you know for the organization and that's why you know i'm happy that we are we are coming to accra and then it's going to be our first time in kumasi as well okay this year is going to be very big because very, very very first big. time yes. those who have been supporting you are coming all the way from the exactly. United States and exactly. to come and join yes how's preparation going to be like because it's not going to be easy exactly i mean it's uh Already we've put things in place, you know, because we like to do things ahead. So we've already put things in place. Everything that need to be need to go to Kumasi for the program is in Kumasi already. Okay. Everything that need to be Accra for the program is in Accra already. And we're just not doing Accra and Kumasi. Yeah. But we have some other locations that we'll be going to, like we'll be doing one at Ashiama. Okay. You know, we'll be going we'll be going to Ashiama to do one program over there, which we did last year, you know, and we'll be doing one program at Bema Camp as well. You know, so those those two also are places that will be going. But we're highlighting Accra and Kumasi more because that's going to be like a huge, you know, big uh, play event for for the program. But then, like I said, we help other organizations, we help other programs. You know, that I mean, those ones are going to be part of it as well. At what stage that you can sit down and fully and say, okay, I think I make that huge impact. Let me leave you for the next generation to go. At what stage? Or you think that so far as you have the means, so far as you feel that you need to support, you continue doing it. Yes, I mean, so far as, like I said, I think this particular, you know, uh, program or this particular organization is a calling from God, you know, to support these giving young children. Giving back to what Ghana has given you. Exactly. Ghana, giving, back to the, giving back to the community, giving back to society, giving back to the country as well. Because, I mean, without tennis, I wouldn't know where I'll be, you know, by now. And God has used me as a tool, you know, to bring other people or to bring support from other people to channel it into the into the kids over here, which that's what, you know, we're doing as an organization. So, like I'm saying, we keep going until God be like, okay, now we bring another organization or now, I mean, let's let's have other persons because like I said if everybody is being able to come to Ghana and do something you know all the tennis players yeah. you know coming to do something to support these kids I mean by now I mean we, 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 tennis will be somewhere I mean been better it, except I mean recently uh, in the likes of you know Roger Crawford in the likes of Peter Mensah who are also you know doing programs to support the to support the, the the Federation to support Ghana tennis you know those are the things that we're looking for you yeah. know to make sure Ghana tennis is growing because I mean with that with that the people who has go through the game and know what it takes to be there if they are not if they are not doing you know enough to support then the game will keep decreasing so that's why in the likes of you know hope performance tennis our goal is to make sure each and every year we come back to support the to support the kids we come back to support the tennis program that is going on and there are a lot of organizations that we okay. give equipment you know even without a program we give them equipment we give them support just to keep to keep the fire burning you know we have 30 seconds to wrap up. Tell people why they must be part of this. Tell the people that why they need to come around. Okay, so now, the, what I want to tell people out there, tennis has made a lot of impact on my life. And if you have a child, if you have kids, okay. if you have kids out there that are not taking part in any sports, I'm pleading with you to include them into something. We're having our program in Accra on the 13th and the 14th. We're having our program in Kumasi on the 5th, uh, 6th, and 7th. Venue again. So Kumasi and Accra Sports Stadium. Accra Sports Stadium is July uh, 13th and the 14th. Kumasi is July 5th, 
sit and the seventh. Okay. If you have any kids walking around without doing anything, bring them to these venues on these days, and I'm telling you, they will pick up a sport that they will love. Because that's how I pick up sports. That's how I pick up tennis, and I love tennis. So bring your children. Come and give them another opportunity. Come and give them something that they can carry on, and they get a better future, you know, moving forward as well. Oh, thank you very much. And we're monitoring you. it. When it's all over, you have to come back and tell us what will happen. For sure, for thank sure, for much. sure. Thank you very much for having okay. me, Johnny. I've been speaking to the gentleman who's in charge of Oba Tennis, uh, uh, which will be taking place in Accra in Kumasi, pretty 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 soon certainly we'll tell you more about that one and that office with lifting and other bodybuilding programs <laughs>